Continental Airlines. We're flying higher and faster than anybody else. In little more than two years, we've created a product we're proud to deliver to our customers each and every day. Continental is now a fun place to work because all 38,700 employees are working together. How did we do it? Just look in the mirror. Our commitment to the Go Forward plan has added the value to our company. So let's all take a well-deserved bow as we review our accomplishments and look ahead to maintaining our winning edge. It feels great to be working for a winner. Continental is finally number one. And after 15 years working here, I'm proud to be with Continental. I'm proud to be working with the employees I've worked with for 15 years. We have been at the bottom for so long. It feels great to be at the top. It feels wonderful. In 1996, Continental soared to a $556 million pre-tax profit, more than doubling 1995's earnings. Of that, $97 million were distributed to employees in profit sharing and on-time performance bonuses. Our employees' performance contributed to these financial improvements, resulting in the steady increase of business travelers flying Continental. Revenue from business customers rose from 32% in 1994 to 38% in 1995 and reached almost 43% last year. We must continue to increase the amount of business customers flying Continental. While we've steadily improved over the past few years, business flyers account for between 50 and 55% of the traffic at United, American, and Delta. We still have a more than $200 million revenue gap to close with these competitors. To help us get there, Continental is focusing on attracting more New York City business customers by promoting the benefits of our newer hub as the airport of choice in that market. The objective? To establish Continental as New York's preferred carrier. Because of our employees' outstanding efforts running the airline every day, international carriers have been lining up to form partnerships with Continental. Some have even dropped their alliance partners in order to join our success story. We've moved our Paris operation over to Charles de Gaulle, Air France's central European hub. Likewise, Air France has moved to Terminal C in Newark. We've also added frequency to Rome and Milan with Alitalia. Our new relationship with Virgin Atlantic, recognized as a top quality carrier, provides us with a stronger presence in the lucrative New York to London market and gives us important access to Heathrow although that is not nearly enough to level the playing field with the proposed American Airlines-British Airways merger. Our scope of flying will increase both domestically and internationally. We just inaugurated new service to Lisbon, Portugal. Other new routes starting soon include Birmingham, England, Caracas, Venezuela, Honolulu, Hawaii, and both Rio de Janeiro and Sao Paulo, Brazil. In addition, we'll begin serving Moscow in 1998. Continental is now growing faster than any other airline. The employees are responsible for the company's successes by doing their jobs, doing it proficiently, and uh, making the customer happy with the product that we have, showing that we can get their bags on time, we can get the plane out on time, even when there is a maintenance or mechanical problem. Continental completed 1996 with more than $1 billion in cash. Our employees' hard efforts have increased the company's market value by more than $2.5 billion. In January 1995, Continental stock languished at little more than $3 a share. Consequently, the market capitalization of our company was just under $200 million. By working together, Continental's market value in May 1997 stands at almost $3 billion, with a stock price of $34 per share. Although our market value is up, there's still a lot of upside potential, as our price-to-earnings ratio is still below the industry average and transportation groups. Clearly, our stock is undervalued. Given our earnings potential for 1997 and beyond, we believe Wall Street will recognize the undervaluation. Other actions we took included refinancing leases and debt. In 1994, Continental paid $284 million in excess lease and debt expense. Last year, that figure dipped to $193 million. Our goal is to reduce this figure to zero by the year 2002. Thanks to our employees, Continental's interest expense continues to decrease as well. 
dropping from just over $200 million in 1994 to less than $120 million in 1996. While we've made tremendous progress in these areas, many of our leased airplanes are financed at unreasonably high rates, and Continental's interest expense is still tens of millions of dollars per year higher than our competitors. We'll be able to refinance these airplanes as their leases expire over the next few years. To achieve many of our objectives, including growing employee compensation, we must continue to manage these expenses into more favorable positions. Then we can be competitive with airlines that enjoy lower interest rates. Continental faces several challenges in 1997, like the federal ticket tax, which will cost us approximately $175 million that we didn't have to pay last year. The Texas State Legislature is considering a new fuel tax that could cost us an additional $20 million a year. On top of that, fuel prices are up too, which could cost Continental an extra $40 million. Combined with those high interest rates related to older aircraft leases and debt, these obstacles are real and have a significant impact on our bottom line. In addition, many of the airplanes we fly cost us much more per month than do similar airplanes in our competitors' fleet. We're making progress reducing the cost of much of our old debt. However, a whole lot still remains to be worked out. Through our flexible five-year fleet plan, we're addressing this issue. Continental placed three significant airplane orders for new Boeing and Embraer jet aircraft. These airplanes were purchased at prices well below what we paid in prior years and will give us one of the youngest fleets in the industry, reduce our aircraft types from seven to five, save millions of dollars in maintenance, spare parts, and training and allow us the flexibility to successfully grow if needed. In addition, Boeing and Airbus wide-body jets are being evaluated to see which one best serves our purposes as the replacement for our DC-10 fleet, and we'll also finalize a fleet plan for continental Micronesia. Furthermore, we're expanding our hub city growth by moving into Terminal B in Houston, constructing a new concourse in Cleveland for the express jets, and extending the runway, as well as adding new gates at Newark. It's a great feeling working for a number one airline. Uh, Continental has come a long way and we're number one and uh, you know we're going to stay that way. We're going to work together as a team and um, we'll stay on top. We're committed to running a clean, safe, reliable airline and we're doing it every day. In 1996, Continental was the only carrier to finish in the top three of all four DOT customer satisfaction areas. And this year, Air Transport World named us Airline of the Year. Fortune Magazine called us the Comeback Kid in their most admired company's article. And the Wall Street Journal's Smart Money Magazine rated business first the best international business class among U.S. airlines. And for the second consecutive year, Continental Airlines ranked as the nation's number one major airline in customer satisfaction for long-distance flights in a survey conducted by J.D. Power & Associates in conjunction with Frequent Flyer magazine. Continental is the first airline ever to finish in first place for back-to-back -back years. These accomplishments prove our employees are the best in the industry at taking care of our customers. We're landing on time more than 2,000 times a day with our customers' bags and handling all of their individual needs. And Continental is doing it better than anyone. And we're going to maintain that winning edge by working to be one of the top three airlines in on-time performance, baggage handling, fewest customer complaints, and involuntary denied boardings. What makes Continental valuable is the predictability and reliability of our product. I take great pride uh, in making Continental a reliable and predictable airline, and I know my fellow pilots do as well. We work with the agents, the flight attendants, and the ground personnel to coordinate to get all of our passengers to their destination with safety and on time. Continental is a great place to work today because we work together. And together, our employees share the rewards, like profit-sharing payments for two consecutive years. Furthermore, we paid $29 million in on-time bonuses last year, an additional $695 in the pockets of every eligible employee. Because of our employees' outstanding commitment to reliable service, the average salary for all employees has increased more than 15% since 1994. 
That figure jumps to more than 25% when we factor in profit sharing and on-time bonuses. While turmoil swirls around other airlines' relationship with their employees, Continental is recognized for having the highest employee morale in the industry. This company must care a great deal about me to offer something like this just to keep me coming to work every day. Uh, to even consider an employee for something like this when he should be there, when it's his job to be there every day, means that they really do care about the employees. It's good to see that, and I enjoy coming to work because of it. Continental continues to treat all work groups fairly as we signed a new flight attendant contract and implemented new pay plans for mechanics, gate and ramp agents, reservations agents, dispatchers, and supervisors. And we'll continue to head toward industry standard wages as we further reduce those high interest rates, attract more high yield business customers, and grow our hubs to industry standard sized operations. Treating employees with dignity and respect is working at Continental. Sick leave is down 16%. Employee turnover dropped 34%. Compensation claims decreased 45%. And sales of Continental merchandise in our company stores are up 400%. I think the Go Forward plan has helped us focus on becoming a better airline by giving us a lot of pride in what we do. I know on the line I concentrate on and take a lot of pride in working with the agents and Chelsea in order to better serve our customers. Working together works. The smiles in our employees' faces tell the story, and our customers are smiling back. The entire Continental team has made our airline a place where it's fun to come to work every day. And we're going to continue making Continental Airlines an even better place to work by reducing the number of aircraft damage incidents and workers' compensation claims, as well as setting a goal to perform in the top three positions in key people measurement areas for turnover, lost time, productivity, and on-the-job injuries. Our commitment to open, honest, direct communication continues as we're adding LED screens to several employee work areas to deliver up-to-the-minute news and performance statistics. The future looks great for Continental. If we continue doing business as usual, we should have no problem being on top again. I think in order to keep the momentum going that, that Continental has been carrying for the last couple of years, the only thing that we have to do is status quo. I think that our um, employees are a lot happier than they've ever been, and I think they're looking forward to a really bright future. I think the other airline employees are looking at us with a lot of trepidation and a lot of envy. They've seen what we've gone through. They know we're on a rocket ship going straight up with tremendous success, and they know that they have to deal with that. And I'm, I'm very proud now, and I, I do believe they're quite envious of us. Working together works. It really does. The journey we've taken together the past couple of years has been quite a ride. In the past, we used to look up at the competition. Now, they're looking up at us. We've proven to the industry, to our customers, and to ourselves that we are the best. And you know what? It feels great. What makes us good? It's not just new airplanes, heavy load factors, or a robust economy. The value of our company is our employees, the people of Continental Airlines. Look in the mirror. Feel good about what you've created at your company. We've become a good airline. We've become a good employer. We've become a good investment. We are predictable, reliable. Our customers know what they're going to get from us day after day. Maintaining that winning edge is our challenge now. And we're off to a good start in 1997, as our commitment to the Go Forward plan has earned Continental Airlines record pre-tax profits for the first quarter. We distributed two $100 on-time performance bonuses. We finished the first quarter DOT performance statistics by placing first in involuntary denied boardings and third in on-time performance and baggage handling. In addition, Continental Airlines received the J.D. Power & Associates Award for the second year in a row. This type of recognition feels great, but the ultimate compliment comes from our customers who fly us every day. Barbara and I have been living on Continental Airlines for the last four or five years, and uh, for those of you who have not been privileged, you're in for a treat. They do a wonderful job, and I'm not just saying this because they paid for the dinner either. It's a fantastic uh, airline, and we're grateful that they're doing this fantastic job for our state, indeed for our country. 
we're hitting on all cylinders. And the employees of Continental are the reason for our success. Let's keep the momentum going. And we're going to do that by maximizing our franchise. The revenue upside potential for Continental is very bright as we plan to maximize our underdeveloped hubs, expand international flying and alliances, improve the business mix, and maximize the value of non-strategic assets. We'll also work to keep our costs flat by reducing distribution expenses through e-ticket expansion and reducing aircraft ownership and interest expense. These reductions should largely offset labor increases that will be achieved in part by performance pay plans. Our goals will be realized by working together. What makes us valuable is the predictability and reliability of our product. We earn the respect of our customers, our competitors, and Wall Street. So feel good about what we've done and feel good about our future. We're flying higher and faster than the competition, and nobody but us can stop us. Remember, there is no autopilot for success, and what got us to the top will certainly keep us there. What's going on at Continental Airlines? We're having a good time. We're making money. Plus, we've earned respect. That's what's going on. The powerful momentum of the Go Forward plan, combined with the spirit of more than 43,000 employees, continues to make Continental one of the top-ranked airlines in the United States. By working together, we've made Continental a great company and acquired a reputation for service excellence. Like some examples? Look no further than the frequent flyer J.D. Power & Associates Airline Customer Satisfaction Survey. They found that Continental Airport agents, flight attendants, and Chelsea Food Service employees scored the highest service marks in their respective categories. Continental customers have spoken loud and clear. Our service is the best. Not only that, we keep on setting new highs for profitability and load factors. As a result of your outstanding effort, 1999 Profit Sharing Day could be our biggest yet. Continental Airlines has never performed as well operationally, financially, and in the eyes of our customers as we have in 1998. One thought comes to mind. Let's keep it up. The Go Forward plan continues to steer Continental Airlines in the right direction. Beginning with our market plan, Fly to Win, we're making money to the tune of $247 million of pre-tax profit in the third quarter, excluding our fleet charges. That's 14 straight quarters of record pre-tax profit. Your commitment to our customers led to a summer of record loads. Furthermore, our share of business travelers continues to rise toward industry average, accounting for almost 45% of our revenue. Although our flights aren't as full this time of year, fewer customers do not necessarily mean lower revenues. Because of your accomplishments serving our customers, we're expecting a significant increase in the number of high-yield business flyers during the fall and winter months. Our challenge as we enter new markets is we're facing new competition it's critical we remain focused and take full advantage of this opportunity to win over some new customers from other carriers. Fly to Win helped us grow profitably in new regions around the world. In Canada, we opened new routes to Ottawa, Halifax, Calgary, and Vancouver. In South America, we launched new service to Santiago, Chile. And in Europe, new flights to Dublin and Shannon, Ireland, as well as Glasgow, Scotland were added. 
we continue to grow profitably and establish ourselves as the number one carrier in the world's number one business travel market, New York City. In 1994, our percentage of travelers out of Manhattan was about 19%. Today, it's near 23%. In addition, we are now the number one carrier in the prestigious Transcon market, with more seats than any other carrier, beating out United and American. And we're going to continue providing our customers with the flights they want when Continental begins flying to Zurich, Switzerland and Brussels, Belgium early next year. At home, we grew steadily, adding key markets in Honolulu, Charlotte and Amarillo and gained plenty of attention when Continental Express began service from Houston to Dallas Love Field, utilizing our fast express jets. While our right to fly between Love Field and Cleveland has been temporarily halted by the courts, we expect justice to prevail and we'll begin service when the legal battles are over. Continental's commitment to building a global network moves on as we expanded our Air France Alliance and established strong partnerships in Latin America and the Caribbean with Copa, Vospi, Asis, Acerca Venezuela, and Air Aruba. Speaking of alliances, we're committed to our alliance with Northwest Airlines and expect enormous benefits for both companies once we get the approval to proceed. Continental Airlines is consistently making money and saving money through Fund the Future, our successful financial plan. How are we doing it? by continuing to eliminate excess lease and paying down debt. Although we're making progress in these areas, we're only two-thirds of the way there. We still pay higher than average interest rates on many of our older airplanes and facilities because of our poor financial performance in the past. Progress is being made, but we're not completely done yet. We also financed many of our new aircraft purchases at less than 7%. As a result, our fleet is becoming more competitive and younger every month. We'll accept more than 60 new jets from the Boeing company in 1998, and we're anticipating taking delivery of more than 50 in 1999. Sleek next generation 737-700 and 737-800 airplanes are already serving many of our key cities. And we just recently added the world's largest twin engine aircraft, the Boeing 777 to our fleet. Continental is only the second U.S. airline to operate this new Queen of the Skies and will be the first U.S. carrier to fly it across the Pacific. By the end of 1999, we'll have the youngest fleet in the U.S. industry. In addition, Continental Express's five-year plan to operate an all-jet fleet is getting closer to reality as we ordered 25 more 50-seat ERJ-145 regional jets. Earlier in the year, we ordered 25 ERJ-135s, the smaller 37-seat version of the RJ. Continental Express now has 100 firm orders of Embraer jets with options for 175 more over the next 10 years. Our many corporate real estate projects are all on schedule and within budget. In Cleveland, construction continues on Concourse D with most of the foundation and utility work complete. Also, new jet bridges were added, and we opened up a new President's Club. The Houston Hub expansion is over 75% complete. New President's Clubs opened in Terminal B and on the south side in Terminal C this summer. In addition, the maintenance hangar opened up in September. The Material Services Stores facility is built and will consolidate supplies from three locations into one and the simulator building expansion is ready for equipment installation. Also, the elevated airport people mover is on schedule to open in June of next year. Also in Houston, our headquarters relocation and consolidation is more than 40% complete and will be finished by April of 1999. Newark's Global Gateway Program is in the design phase with plans for a new concourse in Terminal C, providing additional swing gates another aircraft hangar, a new cargo building, and additional support facilities. We also plan to renovate five gates in Terminal A2. Construction is scheduled for early 1999. What else do we have planned for Newark? How about extending the monorail to provide a direct train link between Newark Airport and Manhattan? Constructing a 3,000-plus space parking garage 
as well as adding lanes to the drop-off and pick-up points at Terminal C. Other Fund the Future achievements include maintaining a cash balance in excess of $1 billion and contributing $10 million more than the required minimum to the pension plan for the third straight year. Furthermore, efforts to reduce ground damage costs year-to-date saved Continental more than $11 million. The money saved has gone directly to fund new ground support equipment. It's money-saving initiatives like these that go straight to our bottom line, resulting in facility improvements, equipment acquisition, and funding our steps to pay all employees industry standard wages. In four years, we've learned that product is everything. And thanks to your reputation for service excellence, make reliability a reality, our product plan has customers filling our seats in record numbers. Our customers appreciate your dedication to the things that matter most, getting them to their destinations on time, and with their bags, feeding them good food when they're hungry, or being able to watch a movie when they're bored. In fact, our on-time performance for the month of September was almost 86%, our best finish in three years. Because of your great performance, we've given out $12 million in on-time bonuses so far this year, and more than $80 million since we began the program in 1995. Your fine efforts haven't gone unnoticed either. The 1998 Frequent Flyer Magazine J.D. Power & Associates Airline Customer Satisfaction Study ranked Continental flight attendants the best for flights of 500 miles or more. Continental Airport employees scored top marks too, securing the highest rankings in the categories for airport check-in, post-flight services, and aircraft interiors. Continental also earned the top score for food services in-flight amenities and frequent flyer programs. And the accolades keep rolling in for Continental Airlines in 1998. Condé Nast Traveler magazine named Business First the best Trans-Pacific and Transatlantic business class among all U.S. airlines. Entrepreneur called Business First the best Transatlantic business class and Aviation Week and Space Technology selected Continental Airlines as the best managed major U.S. airline. Additional public recognition of Continental's management team proves we are consistently good at what we do. What keeps us on top is that we continue to improve our product every day and not sit back and rest on our laurels, including opening more President's Clubs in Washington, Dallas, Houston, Atlanta, Cleveland, and Mexico City. We expanded e-ticket in more regions around the world as well as made it available for pass travel. GTE airphones were installed in all Stage 3 aircraft. We're putting video on all of our long-haul aircraft and retrofitting the overhead bins on older MD-80s. Also, all of our next-generation 737 airplanes and 777 aircraft possess state-of-the-art entertainment systems and larger overhead bins. Working together. Our successful people plan is another reason why we're winning. Continental is a great place to work, and here's why. Profit-sharing payments were distributed for the third consecutive year, averaging about 7% of your annual pay. Eight more Ford Explorers were awarded to employees with perfect attendance in August. That's 38 new vehicles over the past two years. Continental also held pizza parties throughout the system in August and September, just to say thanks for a record-breaking summer. New employee break rooms have also been added in many of our work locations. In keeping with our October 1997 commitment to bring employees to industry average wages within 36 months, we worked together with our airport agent and reservations agent groups to achieve new long-term pay plans. Our pilots and dispatchers also signed long-term labor agreements. In response to rising health care costs, the company is offering best-in-market HMOs, specializing in quality care with lower cost to employees. We encourage all employees to take advantage of this great opportunity and sign up with the best-in-market plan in your location. However, you can still choose to remain with your current health care plan by paying slightly higher monthly premiums. Continental is a great place to work. 
and the key indicators for measuring employee satisfaction shows our progress. Statistics for lost time, on-the-job injuries, and employee turnover all continue to improve significantly since 1994. You know, it's pretty amazing how far we've come as a company in just a short period of time. Four years ago, we barely had a pulse. Today, we're thriving in a highly competitive industry. This just isn't done every day. We're literally making history in the annals of American business. A good barometer for our success is Fortune magazine. In only four years, Continental Airlines has leapt from the bottom of that publication's least admired companies list to being named the most improved company in the 90s. And now, we've been asked by Fortune to compete for recognition as one of the best companies to work for in America. No one has ever done that. What an incredible accomplishment. And it was your attitude that changed this company. Continental Airlines is the industry's top performer, and we're getting stronger every day. We know firsthand that by working together, we can accomplish anything. Working together works. Look what happens to companies that aren't working together. What kind of profit sharing do you think they'll be handing out next year? These scenarios are reminiscent of Continental's bygone days. Clearly, we left these events on the runway behind us. As another great year comes to a close, we must continue to do the things we've been doing for the past four years. Remain concentrated on top tier operating performance, focus on cost initiatives, seize the opportunity to win over more business customers, and continue treating everybody with dignity and respect. Sounds like a broken record, huh? Well, breaking records is exactly what we've been doing at Continental Airlines, because we're having a good time. We're making money, and we've earned respect. Let's keep it up.